That was my that was my favorite uh, seafood place in Dallas. Oh, shucks. Oh, shucks. Mm-hmm. I love East Coast oysters. What about, uh, what about beer? What's your favorite beer? I usually do a blonde. I also like a Kolsch. They don't have as many blondes here. Everybody does an IPA. Oh, no. brunettes everywhere. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shelly Canavy. I'm here at Hip and Hops Brewery and Oyster Bar. Getting ready to go inside and talk to the owner, Clarence Boston, about what they've got going on. Come sit right here. What's so, up? And it's Boston, as you like. Yeah, Boston right? like the uh, city, like Massachusetts. Yeah, well, where, yeah, where are you from? I'm actually uh, from uh, Reedsville, North Carolina. A little small country town. I'm a good old country boy. <laughs> About how I, you know. Yeah. Yeah, what got you interested in, in brewing beer in the first place? Um, well, well, my great grandmother actually uh, brewed beer and, and wine, and she uh, made uh, beer and wine out of uh, fruits from her own yard mm -hmm. figs and uh, muscadines and peaches and apples. And, uh, you know, just being from a real southern uh, country culture, <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, it's just embedded into our hearts um, because we learned those trades at a very early age. Even we couldn't even, we used to sneak and drink the wine. <laughs> we didn't like the beer, you know. <laughs> do, you, do you have two locations then? Yes, well, we have, uh, it's actually three locations. Oh, wow. Um, so it's uh, this one that's officially open. And then we have uh, East Lake uh, and, well, Jose and Second Avenue, which will be another hub where we'll specialize in cheese steaks as well as uh, We'll distill actually. We'll distill liquor there too, so we can oh, make wow. gin, bourbon, whiskey, moonshine, a little bit of everything over there, as well as brewing beer. So, um, why was it important for you to have um, this uh, to open up like in your own neighborhood and and sort of East Atlanta Village? And well, I, I, I've worked in this neighborhood for several years at uh, Meadows Mortuary, which is okay, yeah, funeral home right around the corner, and they. Uh, so I used to walk up and down these streets every day, go to Flatiron and get something to eat and cold beer over there. And uh, I, I, so we were just we were just looking all over, but when we seen this bill, I'm like, you know, it had sen sentimental value to yeah. it. So I said, hey, let's give it a shot, and that's what we did, and we got it like immediately. Yeah. yeah. So we have different um, styles of beer, you know, like we have our buckwheat, which is actually made with buckwheat. Uh huh. Our baby mama drama, which is a uh, IPA made with citrus and mose hops. We got a liar liar, which is our oyster style. Oh, uh, our barely legal, which is a 12% uh, hazy IPA. And then, you know, we got sage on and then a couple of other sour. So. so, according to the Georgia Craft Brewers Guild, this is the first brick and mortar black owned brewery in the state of Georgia. So, how does, how does that make you feel? Um, I think it's actually great. Uh, you know, we didn't even know. Um, and technically, we are like, we're the first African American owned brewery. Um, so it's not just brick and mortar, it's like brewery, period. Uh, with all the press we've got, not just locally, but, you know, nationally. Um, so we have like all kinds of new people coming, even people who don't even drink beer, you know, just come and try the food. So it's definitely a plus for us. Yeah. You know, so we, 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 we want to take this brand to the next level. We don't want to just focus on, uh, you know, just being this small oyster bar. Uh, we want to be big where, you know, we're in Publix, Kroger's, liquor stores, you know, all, a lot of the restaurants not just in Georgia, but like, you know, in the United States. You know? So, yeah. and we think we can make that happen because our, our business is so unique, um, you know, and, and not, not only just, it's a good, it's great beer, you know, but, you know, it's not many, 1% of all the breweries in the country are owned by African Americans. So, and that's, I don't even think it's 1%, you know, yeah. I, I think it's like only like 13 of us. Wow. They actually own facilities that we we right. brew beer on, on premise, so that makes our business really unique. You know, just because we're manufacturers of our own product, and they're not. You know, you don't go to stores or liquor stores to see 
American beer that's made by African Americans, you know, uh, which is which is sad, but I think it's very important for us to encourage to help encourage people more about craft beer, you know, not just black, but you know, all the way around. Yeah. Good. That was awesome. That was great. I'm going to get my doors. I don't want nobody writing yep. a bad review on the street. <laughs> don't We're not open at 5 o'clock. They, they, they don't care. Don't yelp me. <laughs> right. And that's our look at Hip and Hops, East Atlanta's first and only oyster bar and craft brewery. Who knows where we'll go next? I'm Shelly Canavy. Stay tuned to WABE.